these heifers here are gonna go over to the new place um, with Big Joe and those four cows. And they're gonna go out on grass. So that's why I'm, we're going ahead and worming them. We're gonna work them and then we'll bring you along whenever we take those heifers over there and release them on the new place. Look at popcorn, popcorn getting excited. Here comes one. Here comes number two. Heifer 708. We'll yep. find out who it is here in the street. That's open. They're free to go. Yep. Oh, oh. What are you doing? I'm trying to squeeze this. Okay. So she's going to be a zero one. Just lock these heifers up. Kevin and I just worked these heifers and now it's time to take them over to the new property. So these are four yearling heifers. I've got one in here I raised. I've got one from my good friend Noah in here, and then I've got two from Peter Cole. So we're kind of mixing the bloodline up and genetics a little bit, and uh, they don't need to be here. We're gonna take them over to the new property. But So I'm gonna attempt to load up. I always say attempt. I, I've got confidence I can get them by myself, but um, I always say attempt just in case, and. Yeah, you know, it's like dealing with Big Joe. I was like, uh, are we gonna get him this time or not? So, but um, I think I can get them. They're not too bad to handle. So uh, now that Kevin and I got them worked, I'm gonna run them through here and load them up and then we're gonna take them over. So uh, let's get ready to move them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, sometimes it just works out like that. I told you, once they go down the lane, they take off. And so once they enter this lane, they just keep going straight. And they got in the tub, they found a situation where they could get out and they went in to the long trailer. A, a benefit of having this 24 foot trailer is it's so long, it's like an exit for them. So they think it's a getaway because it's so long and dark. So luckily they just came through and kept going and uh i got them so let's uh time to head west I've got to try to get them back in here so I can actually back out with this gate because it's just me. I've got to get them in here. So I'm going to throw them some cubes and uh, try to occupy them so I can pull that trailer through there. Come on. Last one. Guys, wanna go meet the new ladies? Big Joe, you've already you know these ladies. Cows, you don't. Let the feistiness begin.
you think, big fella? Looks like they're blending in well. It'll take a couple of days, but this is how they are. Big Joe, he really didn't care because he's actually been around these four heifers for a long time now. He's been up close to them. But uh, the cows, the Texas four here, are not used to them, so they're gonna do all their smells. So Big Joe has eight females now, four cows and four yearling heifers. One of these heifers we actually put, we actually put in the pen with Dunbar because we thought she was coming in heat just to try it and see but because she's a little bit bigger than the other three yearling heifers so she could be pregnant uh, we'll find out but these yearling heifers in the spring will be two years old so that means that they'll be able to breed so next summer July August and September these yearling heifers will be two which means they can breed which means they won't have a baby until 2023 so they still have a ways to go but uh next year he'll be able to breed these females so and uh now he already had the texas four cows in here and now those yearlings so there you go so i'm just working in here on the atv and the 32 cow the texas cow she's so interesting she's curious all the time i, I kind of like her she's she's probably one of my favorite texas ones but uh you can see her right there hanging out. She keeps speaking her head in here and everything, it's pretty funny. She's just uh, always into my business. So kind of, uh, it's kind of fun, but I, I like her. She's, she's pretty and she's the biggest cow of that Texas herd. But I'm in here just working on putting on a winch on the ATV. So I had to open this, even though they're out there, just so I could get some light in this barn because they don't have electricity yet. So anyways. Okay, now I'm gonna head back over to the original farm. I'm gonna leave the trailer there. I'm gonna unhook the trailer and uh, I'm gonna wash this sucker out. It's been a while. I'm gonna power wash it and get it cleaned up and then uh, we're gonna park the trailer there and leave it and uh, take care of the rest of the animals. Follow us along. Well, Maya and I just got back to the farm. Watch out for the polar bear. All right, I'm gonna power wash this thing out you guys probably don't want to watch that hey thank you guys for watching <laughs> i've been using this thing i feel like a bunch here lately trying to get these animals brought over take some over to that property bring them over here work them because you don't have a working facility and so uh it's a good thing i have it but i've definitely been putting it to use lately those are the last animals we'll take over there for now those four yearling heifers and so big joe's got eight ladies now he's doing good and uh, we'll keep an eye on those heifers. And then in a couple of days, we're actually going to let them out on grass. We're going to let them out for the first time out on the pasture. So that will be fun and exciting to actually see them out there. So I promise we'll share that with you as well. So thank you guys for watching us. See you next time.